In Module 2, Lesson 21, we're going to use the integer card game again to explore solving equations. In class, we will play the integer game with a variety of different teams, and each of these events will be recorded according to that game. In Exercise 1, we can kind of summarize what we did in the integer game. And we're going to look at two different hands and what result happens when we complete the different events with those two different hands. So in looking at the two hands, the original score, 1 plus negative 4 plus 2, is negative 1. And in hand 2, 0 plus 5 plus negative 6 is also negative 1. Both hands have different numbers, but their total is the same. So in hand 1, if we add 4, we will then have a positive 3. In hand 2, if we add 4, We also have positive 3. So when we add the same number to the total, we get the same number. Then if we were to subtract 1 from each total, we would end up with 2. Next, if we multiply by 3, we would get positive 6 for each total. And then finally, if we divide by 2, and our quotient would be 3 for each hand. So we can make, an, make a conclusion then, since the sums of each hand are the same, Cards can be added, subtracted, multiplied, and divided, and the sums will remain be equal to each other. And then looking at number two, We'll complete the table using the multiplication property of equality. Starting with the original expression 3 plus negative 5, whose sum is negative 2, an equivalent expression could be negative 4 plus 2, which is also negative 2. If we then multiply both expressions by negative 3, keeping in mind that we need to put our original expression in parentheses, negative 3 times the quantity 3 plus negative 5 would be negative 3 times negative 2 which is positive 6. And in our equivalent expression, negative 3 times negative 4 plus 2 also equals negative 3 times negative 2 and also equals 6. So we can say if 3 plus negative 5 equals 4, uh, negative 4 plus 2, then negative 3 times 3 plus 
plus negative 5 is equal to negative 3 times negative 4 plus 2. The expressions are equal to each other. In summary, if a number sentence is true, for example, a equals b, and you add or subtract the same number from both sides of the equation, then the resulting number sentence will also be true. And if a number sentence is true, a equals b, and you multiply or divide both sides of the equation by the same number, then the resulting number sentence will also be true.